It's an Umbro Retro. It's got the Retro badge on it. A really nice jacket, actually. It's probably a collector's item soon, this one. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris, and I'm a full-time reseller. And um, today I'm picking some orders and I'm stood in my stock room as we speak. I've got about 15 or 16 orders to pick. A couple of them not paid yet, but I'll pick them anyway, just in case they do pay, hopefully. Um, let me give you a little tour before I start picking in case any of you haven't seen the, uh, the stock room area. It starts here. Now, these boxes and newspapers, these have all been given to me by neighbours and stuff. So I kind of collect those and they'll, they'll get used, just recycle them. Uh, we've got some parcels already done down here from yesterday. Now I'll explain in a few minutes, once we've done the picking, what these are, because I think there's some shout outs to be done in there. Um, I've got my iPad at the ready, brew at the ready. And over here, this is part one of the stock room. This is all my sort of loose items. And it's all the little knickknacks mugs ornaments what else have we got more ornaments up there little small items small things as you can see in here just all kinds of little bits and bobs uh what else games uh, little cars sports stuff toys balls and all my figures generally i put on here although i've sold loads of pops recently for some reason so um that's been taken over a bit, so forget that. And then a lot of electronics there, gaming related stuff here. And then over here is generally all toys. Uh, we've got some vinyls there, some vinyls there, and then bags and bundles and toys and figures. And then over in this room is all our clothing and accessories. So it's all marked different categories and sizes. That's how I do it. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but there you go. That's what it is. Um, plush toys here. I've got all these new crates that I'm going to replace these when we move, when we're ready to move. I'm going to replace some of these really quality crates because uh, these B&M specials are pretty useless. Uh, just ignore these for now. I'm going to shift these. These are boxes that I'm saving up for moving. So they're going to go in a minute. And then all the rest of my clothing here. You can see some categories and stuff there. And I've got, what have I got here? Tracky tops, clothing, other. So that's anything that doesn't fit into the these categories. Um, denim stuff. And what have we got here? Sports jerseys. There you go. That is the stock room. We've got this one and this one. We actually had this door when we moved in. We had this door built into the garage because this is a garage. So we had this door made so that I it would be easier for me to gain access to the stock room. There you go. Let's get picking. And by the way, I know I look ridiculous. It is freezing down here. I've got my hat on and I'm wearing my dressing gown because it is so cold this morning. Just need a sip of that. Oh, and on another note, I normally pick and pack in an evening before I'm ready to post in the morning. So this should have been done last night, but I was being super lazy. Uh, I just couldn't be asked, basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick um, this room first. That's what I always do, get this one out of the way, pick the easy items, and then we'll move on to the, uh, to the clothing room. Quite a bit of clothing going out at the minute. Uh, it pretty much seems to be almost all clothing that I'm selling at the moment. But there are a few bits in here. Start off with this Harry Potter vintage kite. This is gone. I had two of these actually. The other one sold for quite a bit more than this one, but this is my last one. Um, so I sold that for 15 pound. New and sealed vintage kite. You'd think it'd be worth a bit more, wouldn't you? Let's put that there. What else have we got in here? Some SOS eyewear, which is going to be around here somewhere. It could be in here because it's like smalls. So that's what I class it as. It's not definitely not there. Oh, there it is. It's up here. There it is. 
SOS eyewear. Um, this this has gone for thirteen pound. Can't remember what I paid for this. Maybe two, one or two pound. It was at a boot sale, I think. So I'll plonk that there. Uh, what else? Anything else in this room before we move on? Um, a Yankees uh, drinks, travel drinks cup. There it is. There. And this shout out to Vintage um, Resale Girl. Bought this while we were live on Monday night. That was very kind. Thank you. There we go, Yankees. Lovely little travel mug. That's nice. Um, Seven ninety nine. That one went for bargain. Anything else? Oh, we've got a we've got a iPhone case. It's a, a seven, seven and eight iPhone seven and eight. It's Otterbox Disney Fantasia. Now I've just seen those here. Can you see them? These Otterbox things. Got these in the US when we were in Florida, actually. You might remember the video. That's the one. Fantasia. It's for the iPhone 8 Plus or the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, these were a couple of dollars each, like one or two dollars, I think. Uh, sold for £25, so that's not bad at all. Sold a couple of these now. So they've been going quite nicely, to be fair. Um, right, let's move on. We need to go in here. I actually sold one of these American footballs. This is gone. I bought this at the recent boot sale. Um, I think it was like £2 or something. This is gone, uh, I think, on an offer for 10 So not too bad. Not massive profit in it, but there's there's profit. And we've got to move. We've got to move stock. No point sitting on it. And now I've sold a Marvel six-figure bundle. So I'm guessing it's one of these. So let's have a little look what we have. Right, it's not that one. A Marvel six-figure bundle. It's not that one. Or bungle, as we say on this channel. Uh, it's not that one. It could be that one. Uh, I think it probably is. Has it got Iron Man on it? Yes, so... We've got this six-figure bundle. Um, I think it's gone for a... Let me just check there's six in here. Uh, that only looks like five to me. Uh, what's gone wrong here? So, there's definitely only five there. Whoops-a-daisy. Let me just double-check that this is a five or six. Oh, it's me. It's a five-figure bundle. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what has that gone for? Uh, that has gone for £15. So we'll plonk that there, ready to go and get packaged. Right, so we're in here now. We'll get some stuff out of here. Uh, what have we got? Uh, we've got a hat there, Grey Alpha Industries. That one's not paid for, but I'm going to pick it just in case. I'll probably stop short of packing it. Whenever I do that, they end up not paying, so... Three hats actually, uh, Alpha Industries, uh, Vegas Raiders, and uh, Batman Under Armour. So, what we'll do is, oops, a daisy, uh, we'll get the caps box down, which is this one as you can see, and all three will be in here 100%. They will be in here. So, Batman Raiders and Alpha Industries, which is a grey one. So, it's none of those. That's how I stack them so that I can get the most in the box as possible. Uh, let's see. Uh, I know what I'm looking for. It's none of those. Batman Raiders and a grey Alpha Industries. It's none of those, I don't think. could be the one that's the Raiders one I think it's got Super Bowl on it that'll be a clue won't it
Hmm. I don't think it is that one because it's not a Super Bowl one. So good job you check. Double check. Oh, there's another one right there as well. So I think that's the one because it's got this on the side. So uh, yes, I'm going to go with that one. That sold for £18. So we'll put that put that somewhere up there. No, we won't put it there. That's the first one. Now, what else do I need? Batman and a Grey Alpha Industries. I think that might be... Nope. What's that one? Nope. What's that one? Could be that one. Uh, there you go. Alpha Industries. Grey. Um, let me check for you what this one went for. Now, this has not been paid for, but I'm still picking it. Uh, £11.40 on that one. That's not bad at all. And uh, I'm just looking for Batman now. Which for some reason, I'm not, oh, there's another layer. I didn't realize there was another layer. Um, right, it's gonna be here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Really nice, big Batman logo. But can you see, I've got the light on my camera. It's reflective. I wonder if I put that in the title. I'm going to check that because I might not have even known that was reflective. No, I didn't put it in. See, I could have sold that a lot quicker. What a... What a plonker. <laughs> it's an Under Armour Batman. This came from the States, if you remember. Another one from the States. And look at that. It's Is that reflective as well? Possibly reflective on there as well. But that definitely is. Oh, I should have known that, shouldn't I? Never mind. That's cool. I should have checked. How was I supposed to know? Let's put all this back because that is all my hats picked. They're all falling over now. That's all the hats done. If you need any hats... You know where to come. I do like selling hats. Very, very easy to list, easy to store, easy to sell. By the way, if there is anything on my store that you do want or you're interested in, drop me a message on Instagram, Facebook, etc. Um, all the details are down below. I think they're on the screen now. And uh, you can go and find me on my socials and send me a message. I always do a good deal compared to what it's on an eBay because I can save on fees and stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, let's see what else we've got to pick. BMW Ladies Tank uh, T-shirt vest. Two pink T-shirts. Um... Right, let's do that one. Ladies Tank BMW. I know where that is. Well, to a degree. Oh, there's the pink t-shirts. We'll do that in a minute. Let's get this one out of the way. XL. Um, BMW Tank XL. And this is the sports t-shirts large and above so that's how i categorize this box <laughs> but now i've got to sort of rifle through and try and find it um i think i think it's in a bag which is going to help me greatly but i might be thinking wrong because i often do don't tell bell that but i do because my brain is getting old and it's not working as well as it used to. So these are actually meant to be folded, but because I'm fanning about with this video, they're becoming unfolded. Oh, that could be, I knew it was in a bag. See, my brain is not as bad as I thought. Uh, XL, keep your distance.
Um, what's it going for this? I don't know because my thing's gone off. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, at, uh, keep your distance, tank top. It only went for £3, this really disappointing price. £3 is pretty much the lowest that I'll sell anything in my store on eBay. Um, when it gets to sort of £3, if it's not going, then it comes off the site. So this was very close to coming off. I've had this over a year, I would say. So when it gets down to the £3 mark, that means it's just coming off at some point. So lucky, really, it's gone. I, barely, I probably made nothing on this. Probably made a loss on it, I reckon. But that's the way it goes. You can't win on everything. Uh, but I hope the person who buys this is going to wear this like down the pub or in the clubs or something. Mind you, you wouldn't wear a tank, would you? Mind you, women might do wear tanks, don't they? Keep your distance. That would be a good one. Not. Um, right, that's it for this box. So we can put that away. Now, I did notice there was two pink T-shirts to be picked. I'm nearly out of pink t-shirts and it's taken forever to sell. I had a big bungle of pink t-shirts and they've taken quite a while, but I ain't got many left. I had like 40 of them and this is all I've got left here. Uh, there's probably maybe 10 or 12 left, but they are shifting. So there's two here. I've got a pink summer fun house 2010 small and a pink 2010 newspaper graphic small so summer fun house black is that it is that it the one on the top could be actually it's a small pink summer carnival 2010 let's just double check that that is the right one because there's quite a few that look the same Yep, that's it. And the other one is white with purple lettering, which should help me greatly. That's the kind of thing I look for. What colour is the T-shirt? What's the pattern? And as you can see, because they're all different colours in here, that white, there's not that many white ones left. So here we go. That's it. White, small, and purple writing. It's like a newspaper print as well. What did these go for in the end out of interest? Um, the person bought two, uh, the same person. So they went for £13 for the pair. So that was like £6.50 each. That's a pretty low value sale for me. Um, but you do have to move stuff when you've had it for a long time. So two going out at once. I'm happy with that. These cost me very, very little, like a pound each or something like that. I can't remember, but probably around that mark because uh, I did buy a job lot of them. Obviously, the best ones have sold first. And then these ones, not that they're not the best, but these ones are perhaps, um, you know what I mean? Take a bit longer to find the right buyer. That's what I'll say. Um the initial ones that sold were obviously a bit more sought after. Uh, shall we put this one back? What is that box? That's T-shirts. Okay, we can't have that much more to pick here, can, can we? Because it's taking too long now. We've got we've got a Yankees brand new hoodie. Should we do that one? And we've got a Manchester City jacket. And we've got a Seattle Seahawks medium jersey. Let's do that one. Because that's here. Oh, that's heavy. So, Seattle Seahawks brand new jersey. Size medium. There it is. And it should be tagged. And it's a salute to service as well, which are always a bit more sought after. Um, so that has gone for £30. Uh, quite a nice little sale there. The green salutes a service, and sometimes they're black as well, with a bit of camo on, but uh, that was £30. That's the only jersey going out, I think. So we can put everything back. Oh, my God, that's heavy. That is heavy. Um... We've got a t-shirt, Space Odyssey 2001. 
2XL. Let's pick that one. 2XL Space Odyssey. It's down here. Typical. A Space Odyssey. Okay, let's see if we can find it. It's black with a bit of orange on the front. So the way I fold it, the way I fold stuff and put it away makes it easier to find. So it's always worth bearing in mind, if you do store like this, is if you fold things in a certain manner, you can see them a lot easier when you're rifling through. So I think that's it. Space Odyssey, it's a ladies 2XL. What did it go for this one? I don't even know myself. Um, it's only 5 99 I think this came, you know, all those um, pop culture boxes that every reseller and his dog bought that time after I made a video. I think it were in one of them. So that's how long I've had that. Let's reset. Important to reset the stock room as you go along. Get it back to how it was and then pick the next item. Okay, so we've got a Yankees hoodie. Yankees hoodie and a Manchester City jacket. And that is everything. So, where am I looking? I have to move all this stuff. Sports hoodies. It's a large. So you can see there, sports hoodies and long sleeve large. So it will definitely be in here. And there it is. There it is. It's a really nice hoodie, this. I was contemplating keeping it. Yankees Nike with tags. That is nice. Um, it went for 30 pound that one. So I went on an offer for 30. So that's that one. And the last, the last item that we need is a Manchester City um, jacket. And that's sports hoodies. We've got bags. It would be down here, wouldn't it? And what do you reckon it'll be the bottom one? But well, I'll check this one first. Check the easiest one first. But you know damn well it's not gonna be this one. I'm trying to tempt fate by making it this one, but it's not gonna be this one, is it? Oh, is it balls? It's not that one. That should be tidier than what it is, but hey ho, it's a working stock room. Right. Right. Manchester City jacket. And I think I've found it. And it's at the bottom of the last one, which is just about right, isn't it? And there it is. In all its glory and beauty. Manchester City jacket. Um, what has this gone for? I shall let you know, as per always. Uh, £25 that one went for. It's an Umbro retro. It's got the retro badge on it. A really nice jacket, actually. It's probably a collector's item soon, this one. Okay, that's it. So what was in these packages? Okay, so this one, big shout out to Keith who has purchased, um, remember Titanic? Yeah, the one that sank. Well, hopefully this one will be okay. It's going with every, <laughs> so it's in the lap of the gods. It's, a, it's gonna be a journey like no other. Um, yeah, I put it on Instagram and um, Keith is a channel supporter and 
he purchased um, Titanic off me, the Lego Titanic. Well, it's not actual Lego, by the way. Um, it's construction bricks. Um, big shout out to Ella. Ella won one of the duck races, so that is going out to you. What else have we got here that's not like an eBay sale? Uh, what's this one? Don't even know. Oh, this is Sai. Um, so shout out to Sai, who won the other duck race. So that's coming to you. Uh, if you're wondering what a duck race is, you need to watch one of our Monday night um, live shows. We have an amazing duck race, sometimes two duck races, and you can win free stuff, basically. A lot of it provided by the community, which is brilliant. Um, little Steve, big shout out to you. Movie Chats, Little Steve um, purchased a very nice collector's item Manchester City hoodie there. And the last one is um, Jason. Big shout out to Jason. Um, Jason won the bidding on... We did a T-shirt mystery box on Monday night's live show just gone. And Jason won the bidding for that. So this is winging its way to you. So thank you so much. Yeah, you need to tune into our Monday nights basically because a lot of this has come from Monday night's show. Very kind of you all. Appreciate all your interaction and your purchases and your business. Lately, I've definitely noticed that a lot of stuff that I'm selling, me personally anyway, is clothing. Um, it, today it's Wednesday, but on Monday when I was picking all my orders from the entire weekend, almost everything was clothing. There was a ton of clothing. So um, yeah, definitely clothing heavy at the moment. Don't know the significance in that, if there is any. Or maybe it's just random chaos like everything else. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one for sure. Later. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones. Uh, give it a go. Or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go. See you later.